Hi friends, Miss Lynn here. I miss you guys, but I can't wait to tell you my awesome story today. Um, but how do we start? That's right. One, two, three. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. All right, and I think we're going to make silly sounds today. Ready? One, two, three. Meow! Zoo, 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 zoo. Blah, 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 blah. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Meow! Wee, 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 wee. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> that was funny, guys. So, I have a question for you. Have you guys ever seen a sheep before? Maybe I have a picture of a sheep. Ha ha ha. Check you. That's not a sheep. Here is a sheep. Ha ha. Got you again. That's not a sheep. This is actually a sheep. How do you guys think a sheep feels? You think it's hard and prickly and it hurts your hands when you touch them? No, probably not. It's really soft and wooly and you just want to cuddle up to them. They're so soft. Do you know what sound a sheep makes? Is it meow? No, I'm just being silly again. On the count of three, let's all make a sound like a sheep. One, two, three. Bah, bah. Very good. And do you guys know what, who it is that takes care of a sheep? It's called a shepherd. Can you say shepherd? Shepherd. That's right. Thank you. So have you ever seen a shepherd? A shepherd takes care of the sheep in the flock. He carries a big stick called a staff. It looks a lot like this. Yes, I know this looks like a candy cane, but it's also the shape of a staff. And he uses this big stick to keep his sheep out of danger. He'll um, use this hook part to reel them back in if they're going too far away so they can stay safe. And it's long so he can reach them better. And he brings them closer to him. And um, he also will lift them up if they fall down with this and if they can't get back up. So he takes really good care of them. Well, one day, Jesus told a story about a sheep to teach the people. Jesus told the people about how the shepherd knows each of the sheep by name. And when the shepherd calls the sheep, they know his voice. They get used to it, kind of like you know your mom and dad's voices. He calls their name, and they hop right up and come to their shepherd. Hop, 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 everybody hop, 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 hop. So, friends... When I say, come on, friends, let's all hop and make a sound like a sheep. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, friends. Bah. Bah. <laughs> Good job, guys. Jesus told the people that as soon as the sheep are out of the pen, a good shepherd goes ahead of them so he can show them the very best way to go. That way they don't get hurt or in trouble or lost. He leads them to food and water, and he makes sure they all stay safe and together. When it's time to sleep, the shepherd leads his flock back to the sheep pen. He closes the door, and he lies right down in front of them to protect him, and he keeps them safe. The people listened to Jesus. He said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Wow. So what Jesus is saying is that we are his sheep. We know his voice and he knows each one of us by name. And he has called each one of us by name. And he protects us, keeps us out of danger and he's right there with us. And he knows and he loves you very much. Jesus is the good shepherd and we are all his sheep. And that is today's that is today's Bible verse. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. That's a really cool thing. That just means that Jesus is always with us. He'll never leave us and he'll always protect us. That's good to know. So my friends, it's prayer time. Today I'm going to pray for you guys. 
Heavenly Father, I pray over all my friends at home right now, and I just pray that they get to know you, and they hear your voice, and they know that you will be there to protect them. All right, now it's your turn to pray for somebody. Ask mom and dad if you can call a friend or pray for them, and just say, hey, can I pray for you about something right now? And don't forget to use your words. It's good practice, because you guys have really good, good words, and you're very good at praying for one another. Anyway, I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you again. Love you. Bye.